Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to do my best to help you get started in Adobe Premiere Elements by showing you how to crop a video. Let's jump right into it. The best example I could think of is if you record your cell phone screen, for example, my Instagram profile, and add it to a YouTube video. I use AZ Screen Recorder on Android to record my cell phone screen. You can find something similar on an iPhone. Now I want to crop this video because I don't want all this information on my cell phone showing up. For example, the Wi-Fi signal, my battery life, and then all the other things that come on there. So what you wanna to go to is you wanna to go to effects. You can either search for crop here in the window, or what you can do is you can go to the drop down menu, go down to transform, and then go to crop. So then what you wanna do is you wanna take crop and you wanna drag it over to the video file that you wanna crop. It cropped it in different areas. Make sure you expand this window so you have the ability to crop the left, the top, the right, then the bottom. What I did is I set everything back to zero so I can see the full image. So what I wanna do is I wanna take off this top part here so I can use the slider or I can put in a specific value. For this one, I'm just going to use the slider and I'm gonna crop this down to right there just to focus on what's on my profile. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna basically take a little bit off of this bottom part because that's again showing my cell phone and showing that the Instagram right there. So I'm gonna to go to bottom and then I'm just gonna move the slider. I'm gonna take it up to just about there. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit off of the left side because there's, there's something else that's on my cell phone or the right side so let me just take it off right there. It can be hard to see on a black background. Then I really just have my Instagram profile, what I want someone to see focus in there. And then I can go in there and I can mess around with the clip and adjust any other aspects of it. But if I just wanted to focus on the small part and scroll up and down, I can do that without having to show other parts of my cell phone screen. So that's one of the best examples I could think of for using crop. Now let's say I'm eating food, right? This is a stock video I got from Canva. And then I'll, just so you could see it more clearly, I'll throw the Instagram profile up there. And again, it's kind of a little bit off center. It's, it's kind of hard to see it in the dark. But if I were to go back in here, effects, I could take some of that off on the left. So that makes it easier to view. And if I want that to scroll on the screen, that's how it will look. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I only got a few followers, so go, go check me out over there. Now let's go to this example. So this is a normal video. And let's say I wanted to crop this video, get rid of this bottle. I just wanted to focus on the subject here in the image. So again, I could go in and I can select crop. And now I've cropped in here. I'm gonna take the top, I wanna to keep the top. I don't want to, I don't want that bottle in the image, but let me just go to zero. So I don't want the bottle in the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it here on the right. What happens if your video is scaled to frame is that when you crop, you're going to get this black bar on the side, right? So even if I center it now, I'm still going to get this black bar on the side. So cropping it to eliminate um, parts that I don't want, that's, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. What I would recommend is if you want something that's in your image, for example, you don't want this bottle, you want to be focused in, I would not crop it. Instead, I would delete this, set everything back to normal. If I didn't want this bottle in my shot, instead of going through a crop and then trying to readjust the image, what I would do instead of cropping, if I wanted that unwanted part, I would go to motion, I would scale the image up. So I'd scale it just enough so that that bottle is not in the frame. And then what I would do is I would adjust the position. So still kind of keeping him in the shot. That way now he is in the center, that bottle is not in the shot, I wouldn't go through that extra step of doing the crop because cropping means cutting a piece of the video off, but the frame stays the same. So you get those black bars. So if you want to get rid of unwanted parts of your video, then you're better off scaling the video in my opinion. See, scaling makes the image bigger or smaller as you zoom in or out within the same frame. The only problem with scaling is that the more you zoom in slash scale up, you lose image quality. So zooming in at a reasonable amount, like I did though, shouldn't be a noticeable drop in quality. But if I were to, you know, say for example, zoom all the way in the 306, then yeah, you can see a difference in the quality. But if I go back 
to what it was originally was scaling it at you know a 15 percent to get that out it's not going to make a big difference zooming in at a reasonable amount shouldn't be a noticeable drop in quality if you crop an image though black bars appear and to get rid of those black bars you're going to have to scale up anyway or have another image or video in the background to fill in or take away that black space so in my opinion why not just scale the video up and skip the crop so the best example like i said earlier would be if you want to use crop you're going in and you're uh you have a video or a smaller video like your instagram profile or you're trying to show something on your screen then you know you want to crop away some of the unwanted parts like the top of my phone or um, some other battery or image that would be a good use of the crop but if you have like something that's full frame that's already in the frame that i recommend scaling or scaling up but it's still good to know what crop is and then you can figure out different situations that you can be able to use it in so that is how you use crop in adobe premiere elements if you got value out of this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and let me know that you got value out of it that lets me know what videos to make to help keeping my channel grow my name's ish and i challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today thanks